Hello everyone, this is a Denner video and we're going to look at pattern fills. We are going to see how you can change this visualization into this visualization. I'm going to show you the few, very few steps you need to do that. Um, I'm not going to show you how to create the legend. I'm saving that for another video. The next video will be about diving into legends and doing cool stuff with them. Um, but other than that, really very quick video of how you can make a couple of changes to make this look a lot cooler. And uh, yeah, let's have a go. So we're starting off with a basic bar chart with an X, Y axis. If you have no idea what this is or don't know what I've done here, check out some previous videos that I've done before that explains and helps you how to get at this point. But what I wanna do now is basically add this basic feature that's going to give me a pattern fill. So to do that, we're gonna first check out the documentation. The documentation is on the Deneb website, not the Vega, Vega Lite stuff, because this, as it says there, is not a Vega feature. So we find the documentation here on Deneb. And it's really straightforward. I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna do my favorite thing, which is copy someone else's code and put it in my visualization. So I'm copying this where it says fill and it gives me the URL and the name. And as you can see, I can just copy it below where I've got bar and it should work, right? And it should give me something that looks like this. So I've got my mark, type bar, and I'll put it under where I've said tooltip true. Just paste it in there. And if I apply that change, we can see if it's that easy. And it is. Now you can see we have some diagonal stripes on our bar chart. Really a great start. It might be a bit much, so we can look at different ways of doing this. And if you scroll further down the documentation, you'll see a lot more. Um, so the most of it is here really, and tells you a lot about what different types of pattern fills you can use. Um, for each one, it's just maybe a bit bigger here. Well, there you go. For each one, there's a different name. And for each name, there's, there's a different level of um, transparency as well. So if I go to here, you can see that it's the now the opacity is set at 10%. And the default here is 100%. So if I just want it to be, you know, very transparent, I can say 10. So and you can see the difference in the name. So 10 will be 10 here, 25, 25, etc. So you can just pick from one of those, whatever you want. Lots of different variation to make it look however you want it to look. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with diagonal stripe one, but I might just say um, make it 50%. So it looks that way. So now I have this fill with a URL and I have this diagonal stripe. Nice. I'm not gonna go through each one because there are plenty of options and you can play with that yourself. But now what I want to do is say, okay, I don't want it to just be a diagonal stripe. I want it to be a diagonal stripe only when my actual, so my sales, if you will, this is just all made up data, by the way. If my actuals are greater than my plan. So how do I do that? Well, it's nice and straightforward. I've looked at using expressions before in previous videos, always plugging my previous video, videos, um, but we can do exactly the same thing here. It says fill, and I'm just gonna say, okay, I'm gonna use fill, I'm gonna use an expression. So I open a curly bracket, and then I say AXPR, and now I just have to define what my expression actually is. And I'm gonna copy and paste it because I'm lazy and bad at typing. So here we go. So my expression is going to be, if my actual, so datum actual is greater than or equal to datum plan, then now I just need to move this up here and make a small change because now I don't want to be using my um, double quotations, but rather single like that. So if my actuals are greater or equal to my plan, then give me a diagonal stripe. Otherwise, so then I do this. Otherwise, I would like to have a hex code. I could specify just a color or use a hex code, which I'm using now. And I'll say five, 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 five. Close that off, close that off. 
And oh, I forgot to close off the entire expression, so I need to use that as well. If I apply that change and I haven't made any mistakes, hopefully it'll work. So that is pretty much what I wanted to achieve. I'm gonna make one small change and then we're done. So as you can see, just with, just clean that code up a little bit. As you can see, just with this fill expression, it's gone from this really standard blue bar chart to something where the bars actually represent something which is nice, it's a nice effect to have. Um, I'm gonna add one more thing, and I want to say that I want to have a stroke like around the edge of my, my bars, just to kind of, I think, cleans it up a little bit somehow, just my opinion. Then I wanna use the same hex code that I've used just before, so I'm gonna use again, five, 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 and apply that change, just like that. I think it looks a bit tidier with the stroke line around it, I'm not sure. Um, again, just my opinion. So that's, I mean, that's really, it's a really quick change to make, but it adds a lot of value, I think, or just makes it look a bit different. But I think for me, it adds value to the visualization. You can do a lot more with your pattern fill. Um, if I go back to the documentation, You'll see also you can use colors in them as well. Great if you want to do that. So as you can see here, where I've got my um, expression, if you see here, I've got fill expression, fill expression. You can also use that to actually specify the colors within the pattern fill, which is a nice effect there. So here you have two colors, this kind of, what, well, orange and black. And uh, yeah, so if you wanted to have colors within your uh, your pattern fill, you would do it that way. I'm not a fan of it, but it's there if you want to do it. Read through this documentation, there's, there's a lot going on. You can do a great deal with it. Um, but yeah, I kind of prefer this kind of basic way of looking at it. Uh, another thing to note actually before I finish off here is that it doesn't work just on bars. If I choose a different data type or a different mark type, I should say, and I say point, and I'll just make it a bit bigger to get my point across. I'm sorry, I always do that stupid joke. Point size, and I'll say, what, 500? Is that big enough? You can see it also works on the points. You have some that have the pattern fill, and some that are filled with this color, as I specified just before. Nice. As I said, I'm not going to take you through every single element. I'm not going to take you through the legend because I'm saving that for the next video. Um, hope you like it. If you liked it, like, subscribe, that sort of stuff. Let me know in the comments if you don't like it, do like it, would have done something differently, or how you have also been using it. Cool. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Take care and enjoy the next video also, which is going to be about legends in Denim. Thank you very much. Goodbye.